Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The story of prisoners is about morality and religion, which are both explored through Hugh Jackman's Keller Dover. An honest man turned to do horrible acts he would never have done through his daughter's disappearance, Prisoners explores this man's descent into desperation and violence. The clearest theme in Prisoners is that of morality, what is deemed right or wrong, and this is shown through the torture Keller Dover puts Paul Dano's Alex as he questions him about his daughter's disappearance. His use of torture is his last way to help his little girl because for him, each day that passes by is a day that his daughter doesn't have time to lose. So what is my reaction to his way of finding his daughter? The only way to answer that is to put myself in his shoes. Because clearly what he is doing is wrong. He has taken an innocent man that had no evidence he was involved in the kidnapping and begins to torture him. In any other circumstances, hearing that statement would leave you disgusted by Keller's act. But when you put your shoes in his, then his desperate nature is rationalized. Um, I'm a parent myself, it's a, it's a, and the movie is, a, is dealing with the fears and angers that uh, we all have inside ourselves. It's a, it's a moral conflict, that, uh, that's what is so interesting about the screenplay. If I was in his position, I would do anything in my power to find someone I love. The movie involves Terence Howard and Viola Davis's characters, Franklin and Nancy Burge, in the act of torture because it's a message that any walk of life would do the same and would accept someone to act this way through these difficult circumstances. These characters are forced to act against what they believe in because the act of desperation means that if they do nothing, the people they treasure the most will suffer and for a parent, that is the worst thing to happen. It is as Holly Jones's character states in the movie that the power taking a child away from their parents has on individuals. The dark comes out, leaving a shell of what they used to be behind. And Dennis Villeneuve agrees with that statement because he purposely allowed the audience to hear what Alex said to Keller about his daughter. And by giving us that information, we, just like Violet Davis's Nancy Birch, accept the actions of the two fathers beating a man half to death, which in essence proves Holly Jones right. But Keller isn't the only one using torture because what is fascinating is that even though Keller puts Alex through physical torture, Alex also puts Keller through psychological torture because he is withholding information from him. It is as if Alex has put Keller in a maze where he cannot escape and thus putting Keller through a tough decision to stop and accept defeat or to continue. It becomes a game of cat and mouse, who can hold out longer? But for Keller, the way he uses religion allows him to continue his torture. At the beginning of Prisoners, Keller prays before his son shoots a deer. Throughout Keller torturing Alex, he prays beforehand. I'm relying on your almighty power and your infinite mercies and promises. Jake Gyllenhaal's detective Loki has a priest on his watch list who was found to have a dead body beneath his house. Religion is throughout the movie and it is used in a way to show the pointlessness of religion. For me, religion can be a good and bad thing. It all depends on how a person uses it. For example, when someone uses religion as a comfort mechanism for the afterlife, that is a good way to use it because it makes the idea of death less scary. But religion can also be used for bad, such as if a person uses it as an excuse for murder, or in the movie's terms, an excuse for torture. Again, it isn't a coincidence that at the beginning of the movie, Keller prays before his son shoots a deer, because what this sets up is how Keller uses religion as a way of forgiveness. Him praying before the deer's death makes the act of killing it acceptable. Just like how he prays before torturing Alex makes the act of torture also acceptable. So what does this say about religion? What religion means in prisoners is how meaningless it actually is. And Holly Jones and her husband began kidnapping children to prove that point. She even says in the movie, Making children disappear is the war we wage with God. Makes people lose their faith. 
turns them into demons like you. And the scary thing is, we see her to be right. Keller, an ordinary working class father, is changed into an animal who is just full of rage and anger. He has no quarrels about torturing someone to find his daughter. The man who prays before each torturing, using his prayers as an excuse to go ahead and beat Alex because he is asking for forgiveness. Or Keller's wife, Grace Dover, who uses prescription drugs to help her sleep and function each day. To Franklin Birch helping Keller torture a man. And Nancy Birch accepting what her husband is doing. But the best way the movie proves that point is when Detective Loki finds Holly Jones' husband dead underneath the house of the child molesting priest who is trying to protect children. Religion has no sides and it cannot help everyone, but it is viewed as something we should all follow. But even the people who preach God's words do unimaginable acts. Holly Jones takes innocent children to drive their parents into doing unthinkable acts to prove a point. We live in a sick and sadistic world where a lot of messed up things happen. And in the aftermath, we all pray for the victims, waiting for it to happen again. In a way, everyone in prisoners is a prisoner of something. Keller is a prisoner to his torturous acts. The children are prisoners to Holly Jones, Alex is a prisoner to Holly and Keller, and Detective Loki is a prisoner to the case he finds difficult to solve. And in the end, Prisoners shows us that the world is full of sick people and in a moment's notice we can end up like those people. We just have to have faith that we don't.